money is my Achilles heel. I don't have any. I was never born with any. And I don't have a lot right now. <laughs> I was just going to say, like, the definition of insanity is doing the same, doing the same thing, thing over, over, and over and over and, and expecting different results. Exactly. And right. that's I'm like our, our government has just lost their minds, I guess. And we're all just sitting here, like, waiting for them to just figure it out. Like, you know, okay. Yeah. Whatever. I you think... Know. I think it's gonna. We're gonna be surprised in the next few months. We're gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. I just think so. I hope so. Anyways, I, I always got to keep a, a positive outlook on it and just think that you know eventually, we got to get back to playing again and getting things close as close to normal as we can. Yep. I don't know. Like I want to ask you something, Jared. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But we were talking about this earlier, and I can't remember if it was in our pre-chat or the chat that we had where I didn't record. But either way, <laughs> nobody's heard it besides us. So, can you tell me a little bit about how you started playing, like with your dad? Your dad plays. You said, and did you say your grandfather was a musician as well? Uh, it was my dad and his brothers. Uh, oh, late, his late brothers. Yeah. yeah, late Homer was a fiddle player, and uh, Eddie still plays. My dad still plays. So I grew up kind of around that. And, uh, you know, just being every household, somebody would either have a guitar or a fiddle. And um, if you if you're really young and getting involved to music, your first instrument, I know my first instrument was the spoons, right? Anyway, that was my first instrument. So I, I would, you know, families would jam together. And then you, you go to the jamborees and the dances and the weddings and beer fest, bull -aramas, anything you can ever name. And that's kind of where I got my start into music was just being able to watch all these awesome musicians play from backstage. Like imagine being three, four years old, going to a beer fest, yeah. you know, I was, play I was playing in the back and, you know, playing with the cymbals and whatever, and wasn't allowed on stage until they had a little bit of a break time, but that's where my ears kind of started into, into the music. And I was about 12 years old when I started playing guitar. And uh, my dad started getting me into talent shows when I was like five, maybe six years old, something like that. It's like, here, get on stage, sing the song. I'm like, okay. I'm a hardworking man. I wear a steel hard hat. Really shy. Really shy. So I got got pushed on stage. And that's kind of where, where I got my start is, uh, you know, being able to follow my dad and his band around and all the uncles and all my aunties and everybody everybody sings everybody plays so that's kind of my my background and where i got started and you said your dad still plays do you guys ever play gigs together still or it's like an eclipse it's very rare but when it's seen it's freaking magical it's magical because we're like we're the same person on stage i know what he's gonna do and he knows what i'm gonna do so when i sing he sings and he harmonizes with me and then when he sings i harmonize with him and we just it's just like having two people. <laughs> That's why family bands are so so amazing together because you got everybody that has a different talent that brings something together. It's like the Rankin family or the Hunter brothers. Like their their harmonies are are they're freaking sick. <laughs> yeah, well, family harmony is so close because it's genetically close, right? Like you have yep. the same genetic makeup, so yep. your voice is going to be in a similar timber and similar range or whatever. So yeah, but I grew up similar to that like only i played with my dad for a good 20 years mm -hmm. and my brother played drums for us for 10 years my brother lives in vancouver now and um yeah like i know what it's like like you said going to all kinds of things ivan dane's picnic backstage when i was 10 years old when all the musicians were getting drunk or whatever i was <laughs> running around trying to see what was going on listening to people play and bullshit and do you know what musicians do right and then you get kind of sucked into that you want to be a part of that lifestyle like i wrote a song on one of my first albums called the top of the stairs and it's all about me and my sister sitting at the very top of the stairs in our old townhouse so my dad had like five or six musicians over after the bar and they were all playing till like six in the morning at the kitchen table right so that's what i remember growing up right like all this music all the time i remember my dad playing and recording on like a tape deck like this Yep. Yeah, I just I just bought this at the put it in the middle. Uh, I had to uh I had to put it on on the table today because I bought it earlier in the week at a thrift store for 20 bucks. And I'm just like, I need this because it reminds me of being, you know, six years old and watching my dad do his thing at the kitchen table and write his songs. And I was telling these guys that I started I'm starting a project where I'm 
taking my dad's old songs from these cassettes that he wrote and I'm reworking them and recording them now. And my little brother's going to be involved in it as well. He kind of informed me after I, I had played one on last week or whatever. He's like, you know, you can't do that without me. He's like, you can't do this project without me. We have to figure out how I'm involved in this. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> then we'll do it then. So now that project involves my little brother as well, Bryce. So nice. shout out to Bryce. Yeah. But yeah, like that's, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit because I know, I know how that can inspire somebody or it can hinder people too when their parents play music. Like, right. When I was, I didn't start playing until I was like 19 years old. My dad never pushed me on stage when I was a little kid because he's just like, I don't want my kids to, to be involved in this because there's a lot of, you know, rejection in music. There's a lot of all kinds of bullshit, right? Like there's drugs, there's alcohol, there's, my dad didn't want any of his kids to be involved in two out of three became professional musicians. So, I mean, I don't think your parents can choose your path for you. I think I've said this many times before that music picks you. You don't really have a choice. That's true. Yeah. yeah. You know, so that's just why I wanted to touch on your dad and your family and just kind of get that vibe off you and, and kind of, you know, let everybody know how that feels right like because not everybody gets that 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 bonding between family members when you're on stage and like i play bass and my brother plays drums and like we play like this when we're together and it doesn't matter if we haven't played together in a year we can get back on stage and we lock in you yep. know so it's it's just something that is magical and that's i that's why i wanted to talk about that 